the most common, the most used and yet the most needed and highly desired security cameras, these. Well, Hikvision DS-2CD24G0-I uh, and DS-2CD24G0-IW4 megapixel fixed cube network cameras. You know what? They are still often used all over the world due to their price, quality and the ratio between them. Wi-Fi, PoE and a lot of rest things we're going to discuss further. And also activate them up. Daniel here, there will also some store. Breaking in. Subscribe to People Systems YouTube channel and get your special offer on every deal. So uh, this DS-2CD24 model line consists of a six cameras. It starts with the 2423 on product's name, which means a 2 megapixels recording quality and the name ending matters too. The letter W in the product name stands for the stands for the <laughs> Wi-Fi support. And now you have a choice, 2 megapixels, 24, 23 model with or without the Wi-Fi, 4 megapixels, 24, 43 models and 8 megapixels, 24, 83 Wi-Fi or no Wi-Fi models. I got here a middle 4 megapixel, 24, 43 options and we have here both models featuring Wi-Fi, this one, and no Wi-Fi for this one. And we got all of the versions on People System Store, so come by to get your one. About the box contents, well, they are like as regular as they can be. Now, oh, let's see what's inside of here. The firmware CD, of course, the quick start guide, quick user guide, a few new ones, well, the cam, Self. Here you are. Mm. Pretty old design, yeah? A few duples and screws, and also a bracket. A bracket to fasten this thing up and this. So you just go in like this, and bam. And we're pretty much ready to go. Now let's talk about these specifications. Now, in front of you, going to appear the image we took from the camera so that you can rate the quality yourself. The first one is a standard mode. So, the specifications of this are 4 megapixel 1 slash 3 progressive scan CMOS lens with a 2688 by 1520 resolution in 30 frames per second. The fixed local length is a 2.8 millimeters. The view angle is equal to 114 degrees. We got a two way audio here allowing us to speak and hear via the camera. And the passive infrared sensor here lights up a distance of 10 meters and detects a movement. Also, the XR technology used built-in makes a 30% increase in, in illumination efficiency and that's a more efficient light source along with the enhanced LED light stretch. So, everything's okay with the non-visibility here. We also can enable a super compressing H265 plus codec. The micro SD card capacity we can input here reaches up to 128 gigabytes. We got a PoE feature, working temperatures are from a minus 10 to plus 40 Celsius and 14 Fahrenheit to 104 Fahrenheit. Also, the VDR here, WDR here, a in 120 decibels. The smart functions we have, the crossing detection, intrusion detection, and the face recognition that are activated and configured in the next part of this video inside of the IVMS software. Before we begin, you have to download two tools, the CADP tool and the IVMS software. So if you haven't done this before, don't worry, these are free official tools and I left the official download links for you in the description. The CADP tool allows us to find the device within our subnet and activate it after what we go into the IVMS and do the exact setup and configuration. And now we're gonna go to the PC. While that happens, you can see my uh, camera, my DS2443 is connected over the LEN cable to the internet switch, so enabling the PoE features, so that's why the camera is on. And now the CADP tool is the first thing we need to activate 
the exact camera. Now you can see it's inactive instead of inactive. We check here and register, create a new password. Uh, the, the default uh, login name is the admin, not the password. Anything that you want. Also, enable the Hey Connect. You'll need this to view your camera from your phone. Replication code, it can be the same as your password. Well, that's, well, at least that's what I, what, that's what I do. Confirming, activating. Oh, activation succeeded. Uh, yeah, now you get it. Uh, you know, this part of the security questions. I mean, I don't care about them, so it will be like the <laughs> same. Doesn't matter, one, two, and three, confirm, yeah. Great, great, cancel, refresh. And now we can see our camera is active, which is cool. That means we're closing the CADP and going into the IVMS uh, 4200 software client for PC. Anyways, it exists for the Mac OS, for the PC. Now so you can get the IVMS mobile on your phone, Android, iOS, doesn't matter. The matter is, you cannot activate the camera, you cannot configure it from the phone. You can view, you can control if that's the speed DOM or if that's a BTZ camera, pan tilt zoom. Now you can control that movements. But yet everything happens straight into the straight inside of the computer through the CADP, IVMS, or the web interface. And 90%, 100%. <laughs> Come on. Oh, oh yeah. Now, the bottom tab. You can see you got here our camera, the S2CD 2443. What we do, we press and hold and drag it into this tab. Nickname, anything that you want. For me, it's cam1. Username, default is the admin and the password is the one that you've created. Also, you can press this button or you cannot. To synchronize device time anyways not every camera has it so just doing this and importing succeeded now you can see our camera is now signed up tied up with the IBMS software what we do next to press this one uh, now also we can already view our camera somewhere out here now oh come on Oh, it seems I have to work. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything's right. Probably something happened with the connection. Now, pressing the remote configuration, general. A new tab opens up. I will go for a full screen. And now we get everything here. The image, the display. Here's the camera view. Hello, guys. This is Val. Hey, Val. How you doing? Now, I'm pretty sure he's doing well. What we're going to begin with... <laughs> Yeah, he, he just took a little pick for me. <laughs> right. Um, the local, of course, the protocol, performance rules, and other stuff. So rules you need for the smart functions and other stuff. And also the picture and click settings here. The system. Uh, first, we're gonna do is the time settings. Sync with the computer time. Awesome button. I love the collision button. Yeah, not touching, not touching. Well, maybe if you need it, not touching. And my thing is reboot, restore, default, you got it. Yes, you know, of course. Some service, logs, security, nothing that I really need right now. Let's just be fast, let's just be straight. Right, uh, now uh, the network. So this is the camera with uh, no Wi-Fi, but, uh, if you if you have a camera featuring Wi-Fi uh, here in the advanced settings tab, you will have the Wi-Fi. So you press it and pick your network, and everything like it happens from the phone. Pick the um, pick the network and then input a password, and you're done. We got here a basic settings, uh, the security settings, the mail notifications, and other and other and other stuff. Oh, huh. Embedded voice. Oh, CAP, 
triple P-O-E, port net. All right, good, we're awesome. The video settings. First thing you gotta do, the video stream. So this camera featuring uh, both uh, two-way talk, two-way audio, so it has the microphone and the dye and a speaker built in. So you better do this. Video type, video and audio. Resolution depending on which do you want, but is it 2688 by 1520? I'm picking this one. Frame rate is 25 at maximum. And of course, bitrate type. Uh, what else you can do? Video encoding. I'm picking the H265. If you will turn on the H265 Plus, well, uh, you'll just cut you'll just cut the use of the smart functions. So don't need this right now. Don't forget to press the save button. Also, also, substream, the same for the substream. So, and saving and video encoding, H365. It's awesome uh, compression, so yeah, just, just choose it. The ROI, I'm sure you know this. What we can do, we can draw the area uh, and so if anything happens in here, yeah, you be recorded and or the intruder and again saving Display info the image All right, so here you can just customize whenever like, anything that happens on the screen to make your to make it uh, comfortable for your eyes Of course brightness contrast saturation exposure black night day night switch. Oh, come on you know this, right? So I'm not gonna talk about it anymore. Always these settings. A few things in here. And privacy mask, of course. Now the events. This is the interesting things. This is this where the interesting things happen. The motion detect. Now the camera have the has the passive infrared sensor built in, so we can just enable it. Enable dynamic analysis for it, of course, and we can draw the area. So, if the movement happens outside of that area, nothing happens. But if movement goes right in here, uh, draw on it, well, it will be captured. Of course, you can arm here mm, to create like an individual time settings, and uh, and don't forget to press this one if you enable the motion detect. We do tempering sections. Oh, you can make a few and the PIR alarm. This the same. The smart functions we have face detection and of course we can make any uh, kind of schedule for it. So yeah, you just uh, let's let's make it like this. You just uh, delete all, draw, 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 and maybe you want to do it like this. So we select all and copy paste. Also, we have a intrusion detection again, again, again. Uh, you draw the area, you draw the line. Uh, it cannot be crossed. So, I mean, if anyone, uh, yeah, done. So, if any, any, anyone comes in here, he will be spotted. And of course, the line crossing. Well, the same line that we can draw. This, uh, we can put this line, draw it in, and save it, let it be. And of course, the storage. So, after you will input here the HDD, the video recorder, the SD card, here is the 120 gigabyte capacity support. Uh, format it in here. So, you will have it here, you will press it, and then format. And after that, everything is all right, Got my guys. So, pretty much done. Let's well, a few words about the conclusion, about the cam's impressions and overall, let's get to it. These ones are the most common cameras you can ever find according to the installers, the small business owners and a regular house and apartment owners. So, why so? Uh, well, it fits for a large amount of the appliances out there, which makes it a top decision well according to our store this is one of the most saleable models and that is why i can recommend it to you as a time tested and a solid thing and by the way you can get this one on the people system store website within a special price if you will just specify that you came from daniel for me as you order goods from us thank you for watching your safety is the thing that we care the most in a people system store